With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In the question it is given that a given cylindrical tank in which situation will you find surface area and in which situation will be finding the volume. So first situation is given to us as the first situation is to find how much it can hold. Okay. So we need to find out the how much water this particular tank can hold. That is we need to find out how much amount of amount of water water it can it can hold right so to find out the amount of water it can hold we will be finding out the volume that is we will be finding out the volume of the of the tank okay so in the first part we will be finding out the volume of the tank now the second part is given that the second part is given that number of cement bags required to plaster it. Now we plaster only the surface, right? We plaster, plaster only the, only the surface of the tank, only the surface of the tank, right? So therefore we will be finding out the surface area of the tank. Therefore we will be finding out the surface area, area of the of the tank because we need to plaster the surface so we'll be finding out the surface area of the tank now third part given to us is to find out the number of small tanks that can be filled with water from it okay so in the third part we need to find out that how much small tanks can be filled with the volume of the or with the water of the bigger tank so volume of cylindrical tank is used to find out the smaller tanks so volume of volume of cylindrical cylindrical tank will be used is used to fill the tank or to fill the smaller tank to fill the smaller tank right and we need to find out the number of tanks so the number of tanks can be find it out using the number of tanks will be equal to the number of smaller tanks smaller tanks will be equal to the volume of the cylindrical tank the volume of cylindrical tank that is the bigger tank okay divided by this will be divided by the volume of the one small tank volume of one small tank okay so from this we can get the number of smaller tanks so therefore if we say that we will be finding out volume of both of the tanks okay so we will be finding out the volume of both of the tanks okay so in the third part we will need to find out the volume of both of the tanks for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today